Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode with me, Living Free Ashley. Today we are making Carmelitas. I've actually never made this recipe, but I saw it on Happy Healthy Mama blog and was instantly salivating because it looked so good. And then I started reading the ingredients and was even more intrigued when I saw that there was tahini in it. And it's a dessert recipe and it's part of the, the caramel sauce in the Carmelitas. So I definitely want to try this recipe. <laughs> I'm just gonna go use the same ingredients as her. You go step by step and see how it turns out. So for ingredients today, you need three quarter cup of melted coconut oil. Today I'm using deodorized coconut oil so that the, the flavors of the, the caramel and the chocolate really stand out. Three quarter cup of brown sugar. One cup of gluten-free oat flour. I just blended one cup of oats in my Vitamix, got it as fine as I could, and then that's what I'm using for the oat flour today. One cup of gluten-free oats. One tablespoon of pure vanilla extract quarter teaspoon of sea salt, half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of baking powder, half a cup of tahini, half a cup of pure maple syrup, half a cup of canned full fat coconut milk, a pinch of sea salt, and one cup of vegan chocolate chips. You also need to preheat your oven to 350 degrees and line or grease an eight by eight baking pan. Okay, let's get started. So it says in the blog that it's very important to let your Carmelitas chill for at least two to four hours in the fridge before you start cutting. Because according to her, if you start cutting when they're still a little warm, you'll have an ooey gooey mess. A tasty one, but a mess. <laughs> so make sure you let them chill before you cut into them. I think these are awesome. They're super tasty, a little bit on the sweet side for me. I'm not used to having as much sugar in my desserts, so the next time I make them, I would probably take down the brown sugar and the maple syrup just a little bit, but these make these are awesome, and I think they would be even better if you warmed them up and topped them with a little bit of vegan ice cream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you again for watching another episode with me, Living Free Ashley. Don't forget to subscribe and cheers to living free. 